I wonder if the, but the Russians, uh, there's all this talk about the Russians have decided what their Olympic team was. I don't buy it at all. No <laughs> way. You know, we're just, we're in February. The games are in August. Yeah. You know, come on. Yesterday I was chatting to Mark Pickering, the IGF media manager, and I said there is many a slip between cup and lip. And lip. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, okay. I know this now there's already from you. There's yeah, that's plenty right. of time. Yeah, you know? it fits perfect. Of course, you, 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 you want people to be thinking all sorts of things. And if you tell them that, you know, we've already decided our team, well, then people are gonna, not going to go away yes. laughing at it. They're going to go and, and try and guess what your team may be. Waste of time. Yeah. Because we actually don't know, but we're just telling you that we know. <laughs> a double bluff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bluff. <laughs> Ezio Gambo is far too clever to do um, two things. One, tell you he's already picked the team. And, and two, tell you what that team is. <laughs> so no, yeah. I, don't, I don't buy it. And where's the motivation for your fighters who are you know, neck and neck in a battle. You know, Iyatsev and Magushkov Motivation or something in the 73. Yeah, you, you're gone. I oh, already know gone. what the team is. So what's the point in turning up? Yeah. You know, why bother? No, you want to motivate your team to the very last drop of energy in them. If, if energy can be measured in drops. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you want to keep them keen for as long as possible. Mm -hmm. Single Shido picked up by Volkov. Thanks very much for all your messages. We, we had an avalanche of messages once we told people about the feedback button. That was it. <laughs> Everybody was having a go. Yeah. But thank you. It was uh, nice for us to be in contact with you, much as hopefully it's as the contact that we send out your way is, is good. Nothing to step on to reach. <laughs> okay, I stop. It, it's often the case anyway that the fighter lifts the coach up at the end. But in this instance, I think it would be fairly <laughs> yes. a fairly easy job, this one, you know, for the fighter to lift that coach up. That's it, yeah. not a problem. The yeah. only problem for that for in, in that scenario was the Cuban woman attempting to li lift Ronaldo. That wasn't going to happen, was um, it? Yeah. <laughs> Mind you, Ortiz could have had a go. But I think even, even she would have been hard pushed to lift the now retired Ronaldo. Yes. He was in Havana oh. for, the, for the Grand Prix. Very emotional. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Some nice presentations Presentation was, were made yeah. to him. He, he's a wonderful singer, by the way. Oh, really? Fantastic singer. He sung at the World Championships in Cairo in 2005 at a gala dinner that the EJU had put on. At that time, the EJU president was Marius Visa. How I got she attempt? Well, Maki Komi from Volkov, but it collapses, as does Volkov. Hang this um, duet, an aria at this gala mm -hmm. dinner. Volkov going over, but Kim not having a great deal to do with it, so there's no score there. Someone in the crowd just shouted out, blue passive. <coughs> Sorry, did I just not see that penalty that you, you received? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought um, Nutsubidze was going to turn around and say, I just did. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you want me to do? <laughs> yes. Oh, that, oh, was, that was so weak. Yeah, poor yeah. Volkov. Ah, maybe he lost a little bit of his nerves or trying to 
for something. Wrong thing at the wrong time. Oh, absolutely. And now Kazuri Yokoshi Ogatami from Kim Sung Min to wrap things up and to take this bronze medal. Well, he salvaged something from... Kim Sung-min takes the first of the bronze medals in the plus 100 kilo category.